But uh, it's kind of weird, I've never seen this before. All these bags right here, they all have padlocks on them. They're all padlock tight, and they're padlock, padlock. And then you come over here, and all these bags are also padlocked shut, which is not a huge deal. I mean, I can cut them right in a few seconds. But it's just interesting. I've never seen somebody lock all their bags up inside the unit. Um, it's kind of weird. to chase through this. In this mini series, we buy 20 storage units from one auction. Will we go broke? break even or make a ton of money only you can decide by watching every episode only here at chase this on YouTube now let's go get some units all right it's Monday morning we got the uh, get the engine the v8 which I don't even know what it is yet I think we're, we're calling it a flathead Ford but it's not flathead we got her on the engine hoist and we're gonna bring back the old u-haul cart today I'm sure they're missing it but isn't that storage unit for how long? I don't know. So I even wiped her down. I was nice enough to wipe it, wipe the oil off. And uh, getting ready to swap trucks. I'm gonna use my brother's dually instead of the dually dually. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Got the red dually today. This is what we uh, call the quick load. Just load, back right up into it on the outside. And start shoving it in there. Come on, Chuck. Yeah, all right. Get the super stack going on and uh, we're going, I have like two more, three more units over there to get real quick. And uh, yeah, it'll be good. So, I want to try out my, my new dock door back here because when I ran to the rest of the warehouse, I get access to a whole dock. And uh, we're going to see how well this works out. This, here's the warehouse. There's the main door I usually use over there. This is the dock door. So if I ever get a semi <laughs> filled with crap, just dock it right in here. Actually, there's actually two dock doors. This one's kind of permanently slammed in, but the overstock stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, six hundred fourteen not put together. <laughs> I mean, one day I could probably do that, but it's kind of lame. The like pallets and stuff. I mean, I, could, I mean, the driver could just like that's the most. If you're doing a sale, though, it would be better to have a pallet of that laying around. People would buy them. Yeah, <laughs> some kind of overstock pallet stuff or the returns. Welcome back, it's the next day. I think I'm gonna make this all one big episode. But um, we, I had my brother and my friend Tyler with me. They were here, I think Friday, they had a rain day. Um, Saturday, I don't think they were here. They were here Sunday and Monday for Memorial Day. So uh, we ha I had help for three days, which is amazing. So this is all the stuff we have to go through right here. I mean, this is all. Just random stuff. Um, I'm, majority of it, 90% of it, won't be any good. Um, so there, there is a bunch to do. And today, um, I'm gonna get some stuff and supplies here. And I'm just gonna be taking Old Blue up there today. I'm taking the old girl. Um, I haven't drove her. I haven't driven her out of the county since I repaired her uh, with the, the blown head gasket. So this should be uh, pretty interesting. We have a Harley Davidson jacket right here. See that? Yeah. Okay, so we got uh this might go off alarm. As I was saying, we got two units here. This one was like a five dollar unit real quick. Look at that, I'm already done. Very easy clean out. And uh, so I'm gonna put this in my truck real quick, just so I have room in the cart. We have yet another Bissell cleaner, huh? 
Hopefully it all fits in old blue. Today, that freaking, that ladder's like brand new. Probably been used one time. That ladder, that's awesome. Never find them in that good of a shape. All right, here's the other unit. I wouldn't come all the way up here for just for a ladder. <laughs> um, this one looked pretty interesting. I think I got it for 10 bucks. I think I spent over $20 here uh, for these two units. Let's look and see what we got here. Oh, wow. Is that a Wii U? Whew. Yeah, Wii U right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me check. Uh, looks, like the, looks like the camera angle is pretty good. So there's a Wii U right there. The PS4 controller. And some nice clothing. It's not ripped, torn, or smelly. Always like some nice clean stuff. Um, I mean, these last units I've been getting has just been nasty. And uh, really, it really just irritates me, you know, going through all this. You know, going through the trouble of buying these, then transporting them, just to transport dirty, nasty crap that nobody freaking wants. So it's nice to get one that's actually pretty clean here. Here's a blanket. Actually a clean blanket. Here's some pajama bottoms that looks like some anime stuff. I don't know what anime that is. Multiple boxes and there's not there's actually not a lot of moving. Oh we got another one of these. You guys saw them in the last episode. This one automatic. I think it is automatic, it doesn't have any batteries to it. It's a Arrival, wait, is it Arrival? Yeah, Arrival MXV, MXV 1200. That's pretty awesome. This is a, this is a good unit so far. I mean, for 10 bucks, um, I was hoping to have something worth buying in here. National Instruments. This is in here or not? Wow, it actually is. Um, a Ni My Rio. A Ni My Rio? I don't know what this is. Everything's in there though. It's like some kind of. I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up. We got a Vader 189. It's like a laboratory. Oh, wow. Wow, it's a really nice jacket. It's XXL. Maybe it fits me. Nope. My arms are way too big for this thing. Oh my god. I fit an XXL, but this is a small XXL. Like, my back is going to rip through that thing. a suction cup of a spaceship a nice coat right there the US polo assassin anything in the pockets nope oh here's some more little figurines a little Batman and oh my god what, what's his name Doctor Strange <laughs> saved me at the bottom Dr. Strange and the Batman. Got a Funko Pop right here. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Uh, Iroh from Avatar. I don't think I've ever really watched Avatar to know that. AS Rock Killer. It's a motherboard. It's not in there though. Shoot. All right, we'll put this back in there. There's a ton, of, ton more boxes to go through. Your monitor right here. Looks like it's actually a pretty decent one. It's a Samsung. With HDMI. That's pretty, pretty good right there. We'll put this pillow on top of it so it doesn't bust. Get a computer chair. And we have some, looks like anime right here. Or manga. I 
Yeah. One in the Nintendo DS. Naratu or Shonen Jump, or whatever this is. It's all Shonen, Shonen Jump. All they all are right here. Looks like. Oh, nope, there's some different ones. Alex Ryder, Archangel. Alex Ryder, Russian Roulette. Is a good unit. I mean, I've, I've had some really terrible luck lately. So, seeing a good unit like this makes me makes me feel pretty good. All right, guys, makes you feel pretty good. I'm getting really tired of getting junked. And it would be the freaking like ten dollar unit I paid for. You know, that's just how it goes. Okay, we have some unlisted Kenneth Colt. Yep, that's not in there. Nintendo DS, 3DS box. Don't think it's in there. Yeah, I don't think it's in there. Don't feel like it at least. Here's the cords for the... Uh, the Wii U right there, there's some cords. Empty Belkin box. Okay, so we have uh, Super Mario 3D World in here, which is pretty legit. All right, and we have a box down here, looks pretty, pretty promising. Here's a Wii U, we have Bayonetta. Nintendo Land. Um, what else we got in here? We got this weird, crazy Halo. That's a Halo dart gun. Awesome. We have the cords for the Wii U. And... The sensor bars in there. We have, there's the Belkin. I had the empty box over there. Wow. Okay, so we're in business now, boys and girls. Hell yeah. There's another box with a GameCube remote. Oh my god, the Rising Fire's not in there. That'd be so freaking sweet. I could upgrade my computer just using storage and stuff. I don't see the, I don't see the Ryzen 5. There's Beats. Powered by Beats right there. This box. This is a heavy. This is a heavy one right here. This is all books. It's all books. Yep, all books. I'm not gonna go fit right now. So either. There's a computer in here, or there's not a computer in here. We'll find out real quickly. We're on the hunt for a computer. I still haven't went through those two boxes yet. And this thing. This looks like clothing. All right, clothing and stuff like that. Some hats, there's a Meowth hat. A Batman cup. back in the warehouse my GoPro just died uh, mid unit where we're going through everything but I went through everything I got back here it's like six o'clock right now and um, you see there is all like the knickknack stuff there's the keyboard there's the TV here's the X rocker about a hundred bucks right there has all the brand new stuff with it uh, the transceiver 
all the cords, you know, even the original manual. We got um, a lot of loot crate stuff. Uh, Joking Hazard, you got the Wii U, it's a complete Wii U with a couple games. And those um, uh, comic books from the Loot Crate. And we have some controllers right there. We have a sweet mouse pad with a, a cat riding a unicorn. We actually found the uh, uh, the watch that goes in here. So there it is. And we have all these anime books. I laid them all out throughout here. The Shonen Jumps. And all these ones down through here. Um, we have all these are all textbooks right here. All textbooks. We have some board games and more textbooks. And uh, we have this little metal sign that says Procrastinators. Leaders of tomorrow or day after. It's a uh, heavy metal signs. Brand new. One thing I wanted to show you though was uh, this package right here. It's unopened, but it's heavy. I want to see what's in it real quick. So let's open it together. Name and all that good stuff. So um, it's a he it's something heavy in here, and I don't know what it is. I want to find out. If I wanted to find out on video with everyone here. in two different packages. Skynet, Worldwide Express. <laughs> Never knew there was a, a thing called Skynet other than Terminator. All right. Ooh, it's sharp, whatever it is. ADS Steel. Corporate profile. What is that? what is this? All the same crap. That's why it's so heavy. Look at this. Look at a steel plate. Galvanized sample, 0 0.03 millimeter. Got a lot of samples here. Hey, what's in this thing? Some more samples. Well, this isn't anything, anything like completely awesome, unfortunately. Some samples of galvanized steel. <laughs> uh, okay. 0 0.03 rolled, cold rolled sample. Hmm. Get a sweet halo needler. Look how far this thing shoots. Ready? Let's see if I hit the truck. I hit the truck. I hit the back of my window. The thing's ridiculously. It just shoots so far. Anyways, that's all we got for today. So uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, thrifters, today um, is Wednesday. It's been officially one week since the auction and uh, we're at Southern Plaza today and hopefully we can get, um, I only have one unit here. I'm gonna grab this unit and then I have to go back to Lawrence where I've been I've done three loads there. Um, so I need to go back there and finish up the partial units I have there. It's mostly trash. And um, you know, get get all that. Hopefully I can get done today with all the units. So that'll be all 20 units done. But today we're gonna look at, see what's in the Southern Plaza. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. All right, here's the last locker. I better produce. All right, this one is packed and stacked. It goes all the way to the back. This is a five by 10, all the way to the back. 
Uh, my first impressions is uh, it's not looking good. And just cause, because, uh, you know, the totes are all dirty and you know, everything's packed in bags. I mean, that's, that's a new thing. It's, at least it's not trash bags. Um, let's pull some stuff out here and see what we got. I don't have a lot of uh, memory left in my SD card, so I won't be able to film a lot, but because uh, I've been filming for like three days straight and I've, I was putting my files on the computer as I was going, and I haven't had time to do it yet. So yeah, I think I got like, I don't know, 20 minutes left of filming. So I'm gonna have to film the good parts of this unit and then um, I'll show you. I can't film everything, but uh, here we go. All right, I wanted to share something with you. Um, we're getting pretty pretty close to being done almost, but uh, it's kind of weird. I've never seen this before. All of these bags right here, they all have padlocks on them. They're all padlocked tight and they're padlock, padlocked. And then you come over here and all these bags are also padlocked shut. Which is not a huge deal. I mean, I can cut them like in two seconds. But it's just interesting. I've never seen somebody lock all their bags up inside the unit. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, but this is. All right, let me show you guys what we got uh, put away so far. And uh, this is actually in the box. This sunbeam. But you don't you don't find that very often when something is actually in the freaking box. These are all like uh, those plastic. Um, three drawer totes you can buy at Walmart. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we talked about the padlocks on everything. Even the uh, Craftsman box right here is padlocked up. And, oh, I have an avalanche. And then we have a, uh, looks like a Singer uh, Future Quartet down there. S-E-Q-S 6000. We'll see if that's in the box real quick. And then there's a new, another, we had a brand new uh, Hoover steamer in there and then this one. I don't know what it is yet. It's a power brush of some kind, but it is actually in the box, too. So It's looking to be a good unit. I needed it to produce good stuff because I was just getting really angry about the crap I was getting so I'm actually pretty happy at this point and I can uh, I can happily go over there and get the rest of the trash from the other units um, Hopefully I can make some good money on this unit But we'll have to find out what's in those bags in these boxes later because um I like them all nicely boxed up like this already, and I can go through them at the warehouse and I don't have to try to, you know, toss a bunch of uh, loose leaf crap into the uh, the trailer, you know? All right, we're getting to the very end here. It's actually taking a little bit longer than I thought. I had to stop and do a few things, but uh, we just uncovered ourselves another wheelchair, which I'm freaking excited about. Um, I'm getting all my wheelchairs naturally now. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, there's a brand new uh, roto saw. Yeah, rotary tool. Okay, so we're almost done. And uh, I'm getting there, and I've hit my head on this thing about 800,000 fucking times. So you have no idea how happy this makes me. Look at this fucking sword we just found in this box. Oh my god, it's heavy. You get the crown on the bottom. It's like a. It's like a. Well, let me put it down here. This is freaking amazing. I love it. It was made in China, but um, it's a fucking sword. A stainless steel sword. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awesome. Look at the lions on the side. My goodness. Yeah, this makes me happy. This is a good unit. I, I needed a good one. I've been getting such crap lately. I needed one good unit. And here we are. Hell yeah. Oh man. I forgot I bought this one. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, blue chairs and red chairs. All right, we got back with like the sixth load from uh, east side of Indy. Oh my God, it's just taking forever to get all that stuff done. Um, trailer is full. I'm gonna unload it in the morning. It's nine o'clock right now. 
I always knew I had a snake in here. Open the door to close it. And uh, there you go, buddy. I did Genuine it, diamond. Really? Oh, wow. Another one of those gifts. Your face every time. 10 karat gold diamond accent. Just got the key. Oh, it's Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> Collector knife. Collector knife. Never been used. That's nice. Yeah. Ooh. Just wasting. <laughs> I'm just going to the little aisleways here. I told Claire I'd never walk in again. Like, they're for amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, do not destroy that couch. Uh, that is one of my best on couches. Couch. On couch. Oh my god. Well, there goes the fucking resale value on that.